Hey YouTube, here we are with our Sport Cub S2. And this plane is awesome, guys. Whether it's Christmas, birthday, retirement gift, Easter bunny, put it under your pillow. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It is an awesome gift. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I have. So in this video, I'm going to do a quick unboxing, show you a few parts and pieces, add a few beginner tips that I would recommend. And after that, we'll get outside and do a little bit of flying. Okay, guys, obviously I've already unboxed this plane because I've had it for months and I've been flying it and enjoying it. Um, but this is easy as it is. I love the box. I always put it back in the box. You pop your foam off. And boom, out comes the airplane. And it also has an awesome place for your transmitter if you don't already have one. These little Batman style transmitters are still really adequate. Remember, if you don't already have a transmitter, you need to buy a ready to fly version of this plane. That is RTF, ready to fly. Also in the box, you got one battery in the charger, USB style. I recommend getting three or four. I, as much as you fly, they're not a long flight time, um, but I wouldn't recommend getting three or four. They're awesome little batteries. They charge in as little as like 15, 20 minutes, uh, which is handy, handy. Okay, so if you're using the Batman style transmitter, that comes with the ready to fly version. Let's go through this guy. It's not too hard. It's actually very simple, which I like. Um, I've already put the batteries in here, double A's. They do come in the box, which is cool. So first off, what we're gonna do is switch your on off switch to on. Yellow light will come on and then blue. At this point, I will plug in the battery on the airplane. Airplane will be configuring at this point. And green, we're good to go. So first off, guys, got to have your throttle, this left stick, all the way down. Otherwise, it won't connect. It's a fail safe, which is cool. Uh, so that's all the way down. We're green. We know we're bound. There is no throttle cut on these simple remotes. So keep that in mind. If you bump the throttle at this point, you don't want to get chopped up by the prop. This switch is your flight mode all the way down is safe mode. Then you have moderate and advanced. Note, I do a lot of flying, I'll admit it, in safe mode still. If I have my switch all the way down and I go to set this remote on the concrete, it's real easy to trip this switch. Keep an eye on that, guys. Safe mode. Again, you know the colors on the plane that we'll talk about here in a bit that'll indicate that. So on the left stick, of course, we have our throttle. And then your rudder left, rudder right, which as a beginner, I would mostly fly it with the right stick. I would throttle up, get in the air, get some altitude, come back down to about 50%, and then mostly fly it with this right stick. The right stick is elevator up, elevator down, and then aileron right, aileron left. Last thing is the recovery button. I personally have not used it much, but I know a lot of pilots that do use it. Um, if you're flying out of safe or you don't like it, you can go ahead and boom, hit that button, and it'll recover you and put you in safe mode for a few seconds, and then it lets you back out. You can do the same thing yourself with the switch, um, but some people do like the button. I personally haven't used it. So on the binding of these airplanes, these UMX are usually very straightforward. You turn on the transmitter and you plug in the battery on the airplane and you're ready to go fly. Um, if that's not the case, refer back to your owner's manual um, and you'll have to take that step by step. And of course, if you have a computerized transmitter, It'll take its own steps to get to that point. Um, so I'm not going to get deep into that right now. Um, this tutorial is more just to get you guys a little bit of knowledge. Get out there. Go fly. 
Um, so first thing I want to show you is if you look right here in the nostrils of the airplane, they're not called that, but we're going to call them that today. Uh, on my safe switch, you'll see I got a blue or purple looking light. Now when I switch out of safe, you'll see it go red. Safe. Out of safe. When you're out of safe, the AS3X it is still working, which helps you combat with wind and turbulence and such. Um, one other way to check for safe is to take the plane and flip it upside down. Now, if it doesn't activate safe, obviously it's not, but we do have the color. Add throttle power just for a second. And this will activate AS3X as well as safe. So that has thrown me off a few times. Thanks. And there we are, guys. We're in safe. Um, before you go out flying anytime, I always check my controls. Aileron's left, aileron's right. You'll have your elevator up, elevator down, and your rudder. One of the things I love about this plane is the low voltage alarm. I don't know why all the planes don't have this. I love it. Um, so these little batteries, of course, you know, you don't get a super long flight time. But once it gets to a point where it's getting low voltage, it'll pulse the plane, the motor like such, which is a great indicator to find a good place to land soon. Um, so that's one feature that I do love about this plane. So let's go flying. Start. Don't get out of way. Kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> Watch out for those barn cats. Okay, so I'm not just saying this, but this Sport Cub has easily become my favorite airplane. Uh, it wasn't my first or second or third. It was actually my fifth airplane that I added to the fleet. And oh, I just love this plane. So easy to fly. Fly it in small spaces. It's. I know that I didn't cover a lot of this plane in detail. And if you have any questions and the owner's manual doesn't lay it out clearly for you, do not hesitate to call Horizon Hobby. In my experience, their customer service has been great. And so don't hesitate to call them. They have live chats as well as email. I like to use the email because I can always refer back to what we said. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please subscribe and happy flying.